hello everyone khanam here and this is my 28th video in react series in our previous video we have seen how to use map method and how to reduce our code okay using map method how it will be easy to access array data and how to display that one we have already seen that in our previous video okay now in this video we are going to reduce our code i'll just open this one now you can see i have many props here totally i have here one two Three, four, five. Totally five components I am having here, and I have just displayed that one. And here I have this five data. Okay, last one I am just going to remove from here. I'll save this, and now if I just show you the output, you can see here I have only four cards here, and here I am having four components. Okay, but using map method we have already seen writing only once we can access all the data from the array. Okay, now inside my array, if I show you, you can see I'll be having total five. One, two, three, four, and five. Because one component I already deleted, so this data is here, but it's not displayed in my website. Okay, I have only four cards because I have just given here four components. If I want this one, okay, fifth card. Again, I have to copy this one entire thing, and I have to change the index number, and I have to display that data. Okay, I don't need that one. Okay, suppose maybe in future if I want fifty cards, if I want hundred cards, then I can't be changing my data as well as I can't be copy pasting this entire thing. So instead of copy pasting, we are just going to write map method, and we will be accessing all the data using map method. Okay, now I'm just going to remove all the components, and I'll just keep only one component, that is the zeroth index component. I'll remove this. I'll save this. And now you can see I have only one card here, and all all the rest components I have deleted from here. Now inside app dot js I have I have only this props component which I am using here. I have this data which is my API, and in this I am having all this data here. Okay, here I have used that data here. Okay, now using map method we will see how to do that one. Okay, map method is nothing but it is a part of JavaScript, so we have to wrap inside curly braces. We have already seen the syntax of map method. We should be writing array name. And here I have this array name. I'll copy this one, and here I'll be pasting my array name dot map. And inside this map method, I'll just pass one function. I'll give my function name as all data. Okay, this I'm I'm just passing this function inside map method. Okay, now this function I can create separate component for this, or I can directly I can directly define here. Okay, first I'll just define here. I'll give my function name all data, and inside this I'll just pass here. Uh, one parameter. I'll just give here value. Okay. Now inside this function, it it should be returning this entire card. I'll just return, and inside the syntactic sugar form, I'll be pasting this entire component. I'll just copy this one, and I'll cut from here, and here I'll just paste that one. I'll save this. Now, if you see, I have total five cards. Okay, I have not written the code for any card, but I have five cards because here you can see inside my Array inside my array, this one API. I have one, two, three, four, and five data. So I am getting this five cards here. Okay, if I just add here one more card, I'll just copy this, and here I'll be pasting that one. I'll separate with comma. I'll save this. Now you can see one more card has been added. Okay, this is how we just have to add the data inside our API, and that will be accessed using map method, and it will be displayed inside our website. Okay, this is how we are going to access the data. But if you see here, the image is same, text is same, everything is same. Now I want to change this one. Okay, whatever image and whatever text I am having inside this API, I want that data should be displayed in my website. So inside this, now this values will be having all the data. First time it will be having this zeroth index data. Second time it will be having this first index data. Third time it will be having this second index data. Okay, it keeps on going like that. I'll just save this. Now instead of this data, okay, instead of this hard coding, this one, I'll just copy this values, and here I'll be pasting that values here, 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 and also here. I'll save this. I'm just removing that hard coded values because I have given data array name and the index number zero, so all the data from the index number zero is being displayed. Now you can see here my image is being changed, my title is being changed, and here I'm getting the same image because this entire thing I have just copy pasted. Now here inside my data, I'll just copy this uh, first card. I'll just copy this first card, and here I'll be pasting. I'll just separate with comma. I'll be pasting that one. 
now you can see here i'll be getting this first card whatever i am having here okay this is how we just have to add the data inside the api and using map method we are accessing that data and we are displaying inside our website okay now if you see the code now we have reduced many lines of code okay instead of copy pasting entire component i'm just reducing the code here i'll just format the document inside map method directly i am passing the function and here i am just defining that function all data you can either create separate component for this function and you can directly import and you can use here okay i am just writing the function here now we can still reduce this code before that i'll just come to this data this api and from here i'm just going to remove this last three cards because i'm having the repeated data here i'll just remove this cards I want only four cards. Now, if you see here, I'll be having only four cards. I'll just refresh once. Now you can see one, two, three, and four cards. Now, if I add some more data, it will be automatically added inside my website, and it will be read. Now here, instead of passing this function, instead of passing this function directly, I can pass arguments. Directly, I can pass this argument here, and I can access the data. Okay, I'll show you how to do that one. Instead of passing the function here, I'll just pass one argument. We have already seen. this argument is nothing but this will be having all the data i'll just give here values and using fat arrow function i can just access that one i'll just use fat arrow function and this map method is going to return this entire component okay this whatever i have written here it's going to return me the same thing i'll just copy this and here i'll be pasting that one and from here i'll just remove this function i'll just comment as of now now inside map method directly i have passed this argument and inside return i am returning this component now this value will be having all the data and my map method will call function for each element inside the array first it will call the function for my first element that is my zeroth index and it will store all the values and it will be displayed second time it will call this function okay second time it will be called and this will be executed third time it will be called and this will be executed okay for each element for each array element it will call the function and whatever data is available inside this api that will be accessed and that will be displayed in my website okay this is how we are going to access instead of writing this function okay i'm just going to remove this one now i'll save this now here i'm just going to remove this extra spaces so that i can show you we have reduced so many lines of code here Okay, now you can see here we have reduced so many. Okay, we don't have to copy paste the entire component. Instead of that, we just have to write the data inside our API. And using this argument, I'm just accessing this one and this image SRC. What you can see, it's available inside my API. Okay, this whatever we have this key. Okay, this key is I have given here. Now I'll just refresh this. Now you can see I'm having the same data here. If I just come here and if I add this again, I'll just add this one, the third one. i'll just copy this and last i'm just going to paste that one i'll save this now if you see this data is been added okay third data is been added okay this is how we are going to use map method using map method we can reduce 100 lines of code into 4 to 5 lines of code okay you just have to keep adding the data here and that will be added inside our website okay now i don't have to change anything inside this i just have to write like this okay this is my array This is my map method. I'm just passing this arguments, and inside return, okay, map method will always return something. And here I'm just passing this one. Now here, if I just inspect this, now in my console, if I show you, here I'm having this objects, and here you can see I'm getting this warning: each child in a list should have a unique key. Okay, whenever we are using map method, then we should be having one key attribute here so here i'll just give here key and inside this i'll just pass this values and inside my array i have given the id you can see here inside this array i have okay i have not given the id here i'll just give id id i'll assign it one i'll just give here one i'll copy this one and here i'll be pasting that i'll give it two here i'll just give three here i'll be giving four and here i'll just give 5 now you can see here i'm having this each child in a list should have a unique key prop i'll just save this now i have passed this key and i'm just accessing this value 
okay it will not be printed but still we have to write this key when we are using map method we should always write this key now once you give key then you will not be having any error inside your console now i'll just show you one more thing now here i have given the ids now if i want to display the id inside this card i just want to tell this is my first card second card third card i want to display this id okay so i'll just come to this props.js file and below my image i just want to display that one i'll just create one paragraph and here inside this i'll be writing this values dot key whatever i have passed here okay whatever prop i have passed here i'm just giving that one now if i show you you can see here i'm getting this error okay i'll just change it to props i'll save this now you can see here i'll be getting this error key is not a prop trying to access it will result in undefined being returned if you okay we can't get this data and the data is not been displayed okay, you should never be passing this key as a prop instead of doing this one you can just create one more thing and you can just give a separate name i'll just give her id and inside this instead of writing this key i'll just give her id i'll save this you can give any name now if i just refresh this one okay that error has gone and i got this output here you can see third card fourth card and this is my fifth card okay this is how we are going to display the data whatever we want we can just display that inside our website okay dynamically we can display the data okay and we have already seen how to use map method we have seen how to create api we have already seen how to access the data from the api and how to reduce our 100 lines of code into 4 to 5 lines of code now in our next tutorial we are going to learn about conditional statements in react okay that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day